Hey guys, welcome to the Dog Father's Barbecue YouTube channel. I'm your dog father. And hey guys, if you're not already a subscriber, you might want to consider clicking on that logo down there and becoming part of what I call the Dog Pound. Those are my subscribers to stay up to date on what we're doing here at the uh, Dog Father's Barbecue YouTube channel. So, hey, if you're already a part of the Dog Pound, yo Dog Pound, what's up? Hey, today, guys, we're going back to the basics. Haven't done this recipe in a long time. We're talking beer can chicken. All right, you with it? Let's get it. All right, guys, so hey, welcome back. And like I said, we're gonna do some beer can chicken today. Uh, this is a recipe that I haven't done in a very long time and uh, man, I got to tell you, this is probably one of the first recipes that I ever tried. So uh, this should be a fun cook. Um, today, we've got us a free range chicken, compliments of uh, Matador Prime Steaks. And so guys, hey, if you haven't checked out Matador Prime Steaks, be sure to check the links below because I'll definitely put it down there so you guys can go check that out. And uh, hey, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and get the skin separated from the uh, breast meat a little bit here so I can get some seasoning down inside there. So and when you do this, you wanna be kinda careful and try not to uh, tear the skin, but you definitely wanna try and get it separated a little bit so you can get that seasoning in there in contact with the, with the meat there. So that's what we're gonna do. You know, often uh, people will actually flip it over and kind of cut the skin and separate from the thigh and do the same thing, but eh, I'm not gonna do that today. If you wanna do that, man, feel free, go for it. But I think that's separated well enough for uh, what I wanna do today. All right, guys, so for today, I'm gonna be doing this beer can chicken, and I've got this little uh, nifty little beer can uh, tray that I picked up. Comes with a little can where you can put whatever beverage you wanna put in there. Today, I'm gonna to be using some Modelo. So I'm gonna pour some in here. I'm probably gonna fill this can about uh, halfway to two thirds of the way. And then I've got shallots here that I'm gonna put in for some aromatics, along with uh, three sprigs of uh, rosemary. And so I've got that in there. We're just gonna put the top back on and lock it in place. and this one's ready to go. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this uh, beverage over to the pit and I'm going to let this warm up a little bit so that I'm not putting a cold beer inside a cold chicken and getting it on the grill. That way I don't want to uh, have the inside cook a lot slower than the outside. Alright guys, for today's seasoning, I'm going to be using some It's Incredible. It's a really good uh, seasoning if you've never tried it. It's Incredible is uh, incredible. So we're going to use that and we're going to use a new one I haven't tried before, but this is Hardcore Carnivore and it's the Hardcore Carnivore Red. And so that's what we're going to put on here too. Uh, it's got a really nice, uh, deep, rich flavor and uh, it's got a little bit of salt and it's got a lot of color to it. So that's what we're going to put on today. And uh, what I did here with this tray was I went ahead and lined it in aluminum foil there. So uh, hopefully it can be a easier cleanup here. And uh, what I'm probably going to do is I'll uh, spray the uh, stand here as well with uh, cooking spray. Just again, I'm trying to make it as easy clean up as I possibly can here. So we got that done there. All right, so let's get this chicken seasoned up, guys. So again, we uh, pulled that skin back there so we can get some of the seasoning underneath there. So that's what we're going to do. I kind of sprinkle some on there and get it rubbed up underneath in there. We'll come back and do the other side. We'll get some of this red put underneath there as well. Now we got that seasoning up under the skin there the way that I want to get it in there. So now we're going to go ahead and sprinkle, get some inside the cavity here. 
and kind of get it all over the bird. All right, I think I got this season up the way I want it, guys. We're gonna let this hang out for a few minutes and I'm gonna go get this uh, beer can off the, the pit from warming up so we can get this thing assembled and get it on the grill. All right, guys, so we're back and hey, we got our uh, beer can back from the grill and it's nice and warm and we're gonna go ahead and insert that into our tray. So we got that and now it's gonna be time to go ahead and get our bird put on here. And so that's what we're gonna do. And we're just gonna pop this bad boy right on top of this can here. And I kind of get this to where I kind of get the legs here in the front and I uh, tuck the wings and uh, tuck the wings behind. So we're gonna take this wing and just tuck it right back behind there, guys. We're gonna stand them up a little bit. And I do believe this one is ready to go in the pit. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down with some uh, olive oil. And hopefully that'll help seasoning stick as well as uh, maybe help crisp up the skin there a little bit. We're gonna go get it on the grill. Okay guys, so hey, today we're gonna be using our Yoder YS640. And uh, what I've done is I pulled the top rack out so we can give this chicken room to get in here and uh, soak up some of this smoking heat. We're gonna be running this thing at 350 degrees today and we're using hickory pellets. We're looking for an internal temperature around the thickest part of the thigh, about 165 degrees. So let's let it do what it do. So our chicken's been on the uh, Yoder YS640 running at 350 for about an hour. So we're gonna go ahead and do our first check. Uh, and kind of what I wanna do is just make sure everything's going okay. And I wanna probably spray it down a little bit with some more uh, cooking spray. Cause again, I'm trying to get that, that skin to crisp up a little bit. So uh, anything that'll help, I'm gonna do it. So let's check it out. So it's not looking too bad here, but uh, yeah, I will go ahead and spray it with some uh, oil here. And again, I'm just using some uh, olive oil spray, guys. And then we'll go ahead and turn it. And we'll let it go. All right, so that's the one hour mark. We just got it sprayed. We rotated the bird around a little bit. Now we'll just let it keep rolling smoke and uh, I'll see you in about another hour, right? All right guys, so hey, it's been about another 45 minutes since we were last on, and so we're gonna take a look and see what we're looking at, all right? Let's take a look. So that chicken is actually looking pretty good there. And we're definitely hitting the temperatures that we need to hit. So I think we're uh, gonna go ahead and get this guy off of here. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get this chicken off and let it rest, and I'll bring you back here in a little while, all right? All right guys, so uh, we got our chicken off, it's had a chance to rest, so let's go ahead and get cut into it. Wanna get into this breast meat right quick. Smells really good, guys. That was really good, guys. That carnivore red, Gives the chicken a good color. It has really good flavor to it. That's really good, actually. All right, guys, there you have it. Beer can chicken, very simple to do. We got us a free range chicken from Matador Prime Steaks. Again, the link's gonna be down below so you can go check them out. And hey, again, uh, if you're a subscriber, your first purchase, 10% off your first purchase at Matador Prime Steaks. 
So uh, look down in the description box and I'll leave a discount code for you guys so that you can uh, take advantage of that offer. Okay, so we use that uh, It's Incredible from Heavy Made Products and we also use Hardcore Carnivore Red. Uh, had a fantastic color to it, deep, rich flavor. And uh, yeah, that's what we use today. Uh, for the beer, we actually used the uh, Modelo. Again, you can use whatever beer you want. Uh, I added some shallots and some rosemary just for some aromatics. And uh, hey, that's what we use for this cook today. So guys, again, like I said, it's an old recipe, but it's a fun one. So if you haven't done it before, go for it, knock it out. And if you have done it before, but it's been a while, go get that beer can chicken on, guys. All right? So until the next video, the dog father. I'm out. Peace.